بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, my dear vascular colleague this will be the second presentation regarding the free online course for artificial intelligence and machine learning for doctors and vascular surgeon i am dr muhammad amr al faroo consultant vascular surgeon um, i'm very sorry because there was a big lag between the first and the second uh, lesson and it due to commitment with the Royal College. Uh, if any, if you have not uh, joined the uh, course, uh, please apply with this is uh, QR code. Uh, you can scan it with your mobile and uh, you will need just to fill in the application uh, form to join uh, the uh, course. Um, what we would like to learn or the intended uh, learning objectives are explain the basics of AI and machine learning, which does not need a pre-computer knowledge. And this is very important. You know, the basics of uh, a very easy computer language called Python, which is very near simple English. And to know a little bit about image processing uh, by artificial intelligence and machine learning, and hoping by the end of the course, you can develop uh, your own program. Um, it is for vascular surgeon and for doctors overall. And uh, I will provide a, a small digital library for uh, AI and machine learning books that you can easily uh, learn from. So what is artificial intelligence? And this is very important. Artificial intelligence, any system, any computer system that can perform a task that um, a human can do. So um, we all are using machine learning. If you are using your mobile, you're writing your Gmail, if you, um, if in the future writing Tesla uh, cars, it's all with artificial intelligence. So um, the AI system is, is available and uh, a lot of websites have a chatbot a chatbot where it will ask you questions and according to your response will trigger the next question. Um, the machine, the artificial intelligence, as I said, it's a machine that can perform tasks similar to human being. So, for example, when you write an email and you write yours, automatically the AI will bring sincerely. And this is the basics of machine learning. Again, the chatbot is another example. Tesla is another example. Machine learning and artificial intelligence depend on data because the larger the data, the much better the program and the more accurate it is. Uh, AI model, which hopefully uh, we will go through how to develop AI model, deal with large data. Large data is essential. So you must learn how to deal with large data. Um, and there is in Python language something called libraries, which is capability of the Python language. It's the um, same like sophisticated Excel sheet. Uh, and uh, one of these examples is Pandas library, which uh, hopefully uh, I will explain uh, what it is capable of. So you need large data, and this is very important. So for example, if you want to work on Aorta, uh, artificial intelligence model, you need a lot of dicom loops about uh, aorta. If you want to work with duplex scan, you need a lot of images. And there is a website that will give you this amount of data uh, that helpful for you to start using your uh, program. Uh, the AI model can perform predictions. So as I said in the Gmail, it will predict what is your next word, what is your next step and maybe even can give you a recommendation. And this is part of the AI. Now, um, regarding the example of AI, as I mentioned, a few of them, uh, these examples are um, self-driving car like Tesla, chatbot, facial recognition. Facial recognition, again, use an AI, um, an AI module and the same system you found in your Gmail. So these are examples. Now, how to develop a module of artificial intelligence? It go into what is called life cycle. 
So life cycle, you start with a step here and you go all the way through and then it doesn't stop. It continue getting better. So you continue to improve. And it basically divide into three steps. There is the design step, which you have the basic design of your module. Then you develop your module in order how to deal with data and how to intermingle data and how you um, decide your variant that you will work on. And then you deploy your program. So it is three phases. Phase one, design. Phase two, develop. And phase three, deploy. I will go quickly over these steps because you don't need to memorize them, but basically it will show you what the steps that you need to go. And again, it's a continuous cycle. It's not a single cycle. So the first step is design step. First, you must know what is the problem you want to uh, to, to teach the AI. For example, to detect pneumonia on a chest X-ray. And I will get you a module how you can do that. Or detect percentage stenosis on duplex scan. Or predict aortic aneurysm on dicom loop. So you must, number one, have a problem that you want to formulate the problem and try to solve it. Secondly, try to learn from review all literature ethics of algorithm pertain the model. You're always not new into that field. There is something you have done before. So you must learn what they have done and what they have reached it to, and then start to put it a little bit further ahead. Uh, data preparation, you must know how to prepare your data and how to uh, put it into libraries and have to do data exploration you must decide what is your variable. And again, I will show you module how you can uh, differentiate between benign and the malignant cancer. So this is called data exploration and external data acquisition. Sometimes you need to take acquisition from outside source like social media. And this will give you uh, much better uh, information. Now, the second is the development phase. Again, I will go quickly through. It is data wrangling, which uh, um, how you manipulate data and the data augmentation. And then you build your initial AI model. It can be just three or four lines of coding through Python. And I will show you how some of the website can even provide you with the code. So it is not that difficult, not that easy. It doesn't need a previous computer computer knowledge. Then you develop your benchmark. You say, for example, I need accuracy of detecting cancer, anything above 90%. I will consider this as my benchmark. And then you, you build the multiple models, not just one. And then you evaluate each one of them and you take the one which is more accurate. And then you do AI explainability, where you have the AI module, and then you can put it in one of your program, which I will show you which one. Now, the final part is the uh, deploy deployment of your AI module. Here you evaluate the uh, secondary metrics, where you evaluate how you are dealing with parameter as input and output through multiple layers called the neural layers. And there's multiple technique for that. And then you develop your AI, you make it train on getting better. And I will show you the program, which is a free online source, how you train your AI module to get better. And then um, using um, uh, a pipeline, for your AI, the direction where you want to go and how to test it and how to modify it. And finally, you monitor and evaluate performance. So you have a little bit of testing like 10 X-rays or 10 DICOM loops or 10 duplex scan and you see how they assess the result. This is the basic uh, principle. And after each this stage, you continue for development. So the cycle is continuous, doesn't stop at this stage. Now, someone will say, do I need to buy a computer? No. Do I need to buy RAM? No. Do I need a long time to do processing? No. All this is done by Google free of charge. Google supply now what is called the Colab. 
Colab is a free service that Google gives you a supercomputer, free of charge, with a huge amount of RAM, random access memory, that can run your program so fast because it is run on the cloud and not run on your PC. In the old days, we used to run the program and maybe wait for two weeks the program running day and night before getting the result. You don't need to install anything on your computer at all. You don't need to install Python or anything. There is other module, again, called Kaggle.com, where you can open an account free with charge, and you can do Python coding, again, free with charge, and supply not just a CPU, but it's called GPU, which is Gigabyte Processing Unit, or TBU which is terabyte processing unit, and all this is free with charge. And you'll see a lot of program that is shared free with charge. In the old days, we used Jupyter Notebook, but the problem with Jupyter Notebook that you need to um, install program using Anaconda, um, which I don't recommend on, on this course to use a Jupyter Notebook. We'll use Colab and Kaggle. You don't need to install anything, just any browser. It's fine. You can actually do AI coding from your mobile. Um, in the old days, this was extremely difficult and expensive. Now it is free with charge. Uh, Jupyter still is, is a good book, but you need to install uh, its software from the Anaconda website. And hopefully uh, we don't need to do that in, the, in this course. This is a, a picture of this is my account uh, of Google Colab, which is collaboratory. And here you can see the disk, the amount of disk that you are using, amount of RAM. All of this is free with charge. And you can do coding line by line. You print your code and then you get the result. And then we take it line by line how we can develop uh, our program. So um, this is all what you need to have. And this is the second uh, lecture in my program. And uh, hopefully it will be of benefit. And I welcome all doctors to join AI. I am sure it will dramatically affect their career for the better over the next uh, couple of years. And the topic is extremely easy and is extremely useful as well. And thank you very much. I hope it is beneficial to you. And welcome, and hopefully over the next few days, I will get um, uh, some lesson about the vascular uh, use of chat GBT or generated uh, pre-trained transformer uh, program uh, by OpenAI. Uh, hopefully we'll select a time and I show you the capability of uh, this great AI tool. I wish you all the best and see you with the next lesson.